Alright, next on the newly submitted distro series, we have Bunsen Labs. Bunsen Labs Linux, a lightweight and easily customized open box desktop. Hydrogen, and this is the RC1, built on top of Debian Jesse. This is a community continuation of Crunchbang Linux. Pre-configured open box window manager with the Tint2 panel and Conky system monitor. Assortment of themes, wallpapers, and conky configurations and application utilities to maintain the system. Multimedia and hardware related packages come pre installed, offer a better out of the box experience. Alright, this is how it boots up. Looks real nice. The installer was one of those, uh, it's not in graphical, you know, it's just that uh, kind of uh, system kind of uh, installer, but it went clean. You see it running on VirtualBox, installed no problem fires right up real quick and let's see it says a little conky over here yeah I think when it first fired up it was like 151 megabyte or so 155 but it, uh, I was opening things and checking it out and uh, it all works pretty good this is how it boots up let's take a look at it there's a little conky there. there's a little cock and calendar there's a little battery thing sound your internet connections a little clipper thing I think that is and then over here it has your terminal then this little uh, configuration thing for the tent too. Get in there and do the settings and everything. And there's your little file manager. And that is the Thunar163. And it's all really quick. And then this is the uh, Ice Weasel browser. No menu or anything. You right click on the desktop. It shows uh, run program terminal, web browser, file manager text editor, menu player, and then accessories got catfish, file search, archive manager, and there's the HTOP system uh, thing, and then it's what, 224, shows all your little system going on there, it's pretty cool. Then, uh, where were we at? The graphics, it's got Mirage, and then it's got these little install things. You want to install GIMP and uh, it's got Blender, Inkscape, Mandel, Blunder, and some other kind of views, viewing or, or something. And then screenshot, XFCE4 screen shooter, and Scrot screen shooter. I don't know what that's about. And then uh, multimedia, it's got VCL, and then install. Audacious uh, SM player or GNOME player. Then it's got some more here. Audacity Open Shot. And there's XF Burn. There's installed GTK. Record my desktop. And then under Networks, got a little browser install Chromium. There's Ice Wheels already installed. Install Google Chrome Stable. Opera. And let's see what else got. I, uh, IRC Chat thing remote desktop and there's Dropbox installed Dropbox and then our office the LibreOffice writer there's Google Docs it's got the little calculator I like that little calculator there you see how everything opens really quick and then a PDF viewer and there's got places your documents downloads pictures and all that your files and then you can get to all the little file settings and everything the preferences the open box preferences, compositor compre uh, preferences, the conky, and then the tent to which is the uh, panel up here, and then choose wallpapers, notifications, the D menu, and display and all that, and then systems got printer, so it's got the synaptic package manager. Let's go ahead and fire that up and see my password. And there's synaptics or synapt synaptic. That all looks good. And then file manager, there's root, text editor, login, there's gpart it. See how gpart it fires up. That was pretty quick. And then edit uh, things, and then help and key uh, display key binds. 
and that's all your uh, and it also shows some over here so that's pretty cool let's have a look at the wallpapers appearance let's go to appearance first let's see it's got uh, let me open up the little file browser here boy that thing is quick I mean it's like uh, it, like it knows that I'm gonna click on it I get there before it opens before I even get over there but uh, let's have a look at the uh, I just got I water oh I gotta push apply that's what that looks a little brighter there and I think that's the one that was on oh it's got a black theme look at that <laughs> that looks pretty good we're gonna have to check that one out and there's blue and then it's got a dark blue that looks pretty good and then Bunsen dark and then crunch bang and relay okay I like the Bunsen dark blackish let's see what kind of icons they got they got the Awata and fin Fins uh, Bunsen okay why ain't my icons over here changed do I gotta restart this no and then gnome okay those change okay I guess the, uh, oh these are just uh, the dark let's see so we need a dark one well, those don't look bad like it is it's got a nice look to it cursors fonts and other so that's pretty cool I like that theme there and let's see what else kinda uh, theme they got appearance that's appearance and see, so choose wallpaper. Let's see what kind of wallpapers they got. Apply. Okay, that's a plain one there. And then they got this that little flame. And then that one's off to the uh, right. And that one's more off to the right. A little lower to the right. And then in the middle. Okay, I see where they're going with that. And they got preferences and all that pretty cool of course you can add your own wallpaper configure it any way you want and then here's the little tint to uh, color chooser or what is that the oh no that's just the I thought it said color chooser did I see color chooser preferences where did I see that tint to yeah and then you can add a panel I guess to the bottom yeah, there goes another panel at the bottom. And to configure, you know, add little things to it, you click on this. And somewhere in this script, I think right here, each launcher to the item must be full path. So you got to go to your user share applications and get that uh, path of that launcher and just add that uh, script right here. You know, like these, you just add that, cop probably copy it and put it down there, but then change this part right here whatever little launcher you're gonna put there so that's how you uh, add little things and let's see to remove that panel because we don't really need that panel go to the tent to choosers what it's called take that one off and then here's another thing I noticed when you got two little things open here this is one panel here and you can click over here and go to your next desktop and you see that you got two over here and you and you actually you click the uh, well it was clicking okay what does that mean okay something happened this is one wow. panel here and you can switch uh, desktops go to that panel by clicking this side you see how it's a different color it's a little shade off and you can open up another browser over here or something whatever you got working on over here switch back to that one by clicking on this side of the uh, <coughs> panel which is pretty cool so it's, it's almost like a, a dual uh, your panel and uh, task switcher so I thought that was pretty neat so you're doing some work over here Got something else going on over here so that's pretty cool and you see it all works really quick 
and let's see what else can we look at here seen the wallpapers there's power management and it's the XFCE power management there's the system settings display device so that's pretty cool and let's see what else we can get into here there's the documentations tips and tricks and there's the open box the and the conky configuration settings variables and all that stuff theme resources so it's all pretty cool Let, let's see how it uh, installs let's go to uh, let's see how it installs GIMP okay let's run it let's see how fast it'll uh, install yeah I got the password but uh, you see it, it runs pretty quick okay we're already we're ready to go I mean, it, it opens up things really quick. That's what I noticed about it. I like that theme. Not a bad little theme. Nice little browser. Let's see, I don't think it had tilling or anything. Or I didn't see any um, theming for the top panels. Appearance. Let's see other the icon the font the cursors icon theme we looked at that hit any key to exit all right now we should have GIMP let's see go to graphics and there's GIMP let's see how GIMP fires up there it is GIMP 2.8 so that uh, let's put that in a single mi uh, window so this is pretty cool all opens up things really quick and it works really good I mean it just installed that no problem as you got blender Inkscape and these other ones here and then multimedia VC oh, it's got audacious let's see what else we need screen open shot uh, office networking it has a uh, record my desktop but I'm sure you can go into the uh, terminal and install anything on it <clears throat> pretty cool little system here I like that theme I like the little file browser I like how it's really quick and I didn't see again I was looking for something for the little trim up here open box compositing the conky and that's all the for the appearance there so I don't know if there's anything for that but uh, pretty cool nonetheless I like it I like this little taskbar and that switcher thing I mean that's pretty cool so it's like a dual uh, and see it just keeps uh, piling if more things you have open let me start opening stuff because I know how y'all like to see things open there's the catfish file search and let's open GIMP back up multimedia let's see what else is open Do we have hex chat on there yeah it's got uh, that on there documents got the little calculator looks real good with that theme and let's see what else we got on here LibreOffice let's open up the writer it's LibreOffice and let's see office got the little spreadsheet and what else can we open up there's transmission graphics go okay we can put GIMP on there screenshot thing and uh, there's HTOP. What are we using? 446 megabytes. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Okay. That's uh. No, I don't want to. I don't want to connect. So that's a pretty cool little system here. It all works really good. I like that theme. I keep saying that. I know. 
but it does look nice you can you got to agree and this is a really neat little system here okay now well I was let me get back to the panel now you see how I have all this stuff open on this panel see how it keeps piling up so it, it's still usable though because see I can still go to things and switch it even though it's only putting it in the little icons it's still it's very usable because I can go to that and switch it just like that just like I would normally do a, a browser and there's uh, GIMP say I'm doing GIMP well, I gotta go I need my calculator or I need the writer go back to this or I can go back and then I have this set over here then I can clear it out and I've got something else going on over here you know I got the customized look and feel let's say I got the other browser open over here what else we need open over here VLC player so pretty cool I like that this is a pretty cool little setup here and there's VLC player now I have uh, like two it's almost like a, a panel with two well it is it's a it's a it's a it's your task bar panel with uh, two desktops it's split in the middle and it, it acts as a desktop switcher so that's pretty cool can't beat that and it's still functional because you can switch through your open programs so that is pretty cool I like this little system it's really neat worth checking out and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here but this was the Bunsen Labs Linux and I think the name was hydrogen and this was the RC1 release so worth checking out and I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here Okie doke.